the animal kingdom, the role of animals in maintaining the energy and spiritual balance of the planet. Hello, dear ones. Cryon greets you with love and respect. Now, as the veil between dimensions is lifted, we can all be together in this beautiful moment of eternal now, where there is no time and no spatial boundaries. Oh, dear ones, I really want you to feel how close you all are to each other, even those of you who seem very lonely and disconnected from the world. There are no lonely ones among you, dear ones. There are only peculiarities of your perception that make you experience the illusion of loneliness. But when the veil is lifted and the veil falls from your eyes, you see firsthand that all this time you've been in the thick of beings who love you. You are always at the center of events, always at the center of life. You are never on the sidelines, remember that. And you are always loved, always cared for, always ready to help whatever happens to you in your life. Today, I remind you of this also so that you remember how closely connected you are not only to your divine family, not only to all humanity, but also to all the creatures of planet Earth. Yes, dear ones, today I want to talk to you about the wonderful energy without which your planet would not be what it is, about the energy of animals. You experience various feelings towards them, from fear and dislike to the most sincere love and very strong attachment one way or another. You are connected to animals more closely than you think. Only this connection is different from ordinary attachment. Together, you all maintain the balance of the planet at all its levels. People play their role in this balance, and animals play theirs. This balance is biological, energetic, and, yes, it is spiritual balance. You can imagine that without animals, the planet simply could not exist physically. But it may be difficult for you to imagine that without animals, you, humans, would not be able to maintain the necessary spiritual balance. Animals are not spiritual beings in the sense that you are humans. Animals are endowed with consciousness, but they are not sparks of God like you are. And yet, animals have always been able and still can hold particles of your spirit for you, just as rocks, mountains, water, fire, and air can. But animals have here a somewhat different special role, because they are endowed with a consciousness that is closer to human consciousness than the consciousness of other manifestations of earthly nature. For thousands of years you have communicated with animals a lot, and you have transmitted to them particles of your spirit. And even those animals, let's say wild inhabitants of the jungles, with whom you have communicated little or not at all, still know about the existence of humans and know about their role in maintaining the spiritual balance of the planet. The animal kingdom is a vast and very important layer of Earth's energy, on which you, humanity, have always relied, like on a powerful foundation. And you have invested particles of your spirit in the animal kingdom, which are sacredly kept for you by representatives of your lesser brothers, as you sometimes call them. That is why many of you have spirit guides in the form of animals or totem animals. This is because in past incarnations, you communicated with this animal and entrusted it with particles of your spirit. Communicating with such a spirit animal in a dream or meditation, you are actually following the guidance of your own spirit, those parts of it that reside in the form of the animal. And indeed, such an animal appearing to you in a dream or in reality, tells you that it is time to reclaim these particles of spirit for yourself. Understand correctly, an animal, taking on the role of a carrier of human spirit particles, does not become a spiritual being like a human because of this. Animals play their role somewhat like archivists and librarians. They cannot know the contents of all the documents in this archive or all the books in this library but they keep this knowledge for you. Similarly, animals, without possessing human spirit and without access to its capabilities, are able to hold the spiritual components that rightfully belong to you. Dolphins and whales are keepers of spirit. A special role as keepers of spirit belongs to marine animals, primarily whales and dolphins. This is due to the special qualities of consciousness inherent in these animals, partly with the technologies of Lemuria and Atlantis, 
where people closely collaborated with dolphins and whales, and partly with the properties of water as the habitat of these animals. Water contributes to the retention, preservation, and transfer of large amounts of energy and information. And since water is present everywhere on the planet, and even your cells largely consist of water, the information contained in water is available at any point, and your ability to connect to this information is practically unlimited. You can do it in an instant. You can tune in to receive information from dolphins and whales, even if you have never interacted with these animals. Your cellular memory will respond, and the water molecules in your cells will perceive this information according to the holographic principle, which consists of the fact that even in the smallest particle of matter, all the information contained in all matter can fit. Dear ones, you will feel when the time comes for this. Believe me, dolphins and whales themselves will call you when it is time to give you what rightfully belongs to you. In the near future, you will understand what I am talking about. But right now, and at any moment, you can take advantage of the help that dolphins and whales are ready to offer you. You may notice that just by looking at these animals or even their images, you return to a state of equilibrium, balance. And it's not just balance. It's a return to your divine center. That's why these animals bring you so much joy, peace. That's why they help you feel happy because they carry for you the most important knowledge about how to be in your divine center. And this knowledge, this ability, is available to you right now at any moment. You just need to remember these animals or look at their image. You yourselves feel what happens then. Now start doing it consciously. When you need to return to the divine center, when you're upset or thrown off balance, you can always turn to dolphins, not necessarily in person, just in your imagination. Imagine that you're watching them, playing or swimming with them. Remember the state of peace and equilibrium that arises. This is the state of being in the divine center that whales and dolphins restore to you. Animals willingly share their resources with you. Dear ones, you probably realize that not all animals are capable of maintaining the spiritual balance of the planet for you. There are animals with completely different goals. For example, some of them are used by you in agriculture. There are animals created solely to delight you, comfort you, help you with their presence. These are your pets. Many of you know that they react to your emotions, share your joys and sorrows, and can even be your healers. Dear ones, they deserve respect and reverence for this, don't they? But remember that they are fulfilling their task in this way, the reason they came to Earth, and they also derive joy from it. So don't consider yourselves indebted. This is cooperation in which everyone wins. But of course, what is necessary is respect for animals and your careful treatment of them. Remember that all animals, without exception, deserve respect. All of them exist on this planet for you in one way or another. Therefore, respect both those animals that maintain spiritual balance for you, and those that help you in agriculture, and those that bring you joy and comfort, and those whose resources you use, and whose meat you consume. Many of you are very concerned about the fact that animal meat is used by humans as food. Dear ones, let me reassure you. Those animals whose meat you use for food came to Earth specifically to feed you. That's their task. That's their mission. They did it voluntarily and consciously. You shouldn't feel guilty. Do you know that some animals are glad to become your food? By consuming animal meat, you raise its vibrations. You raise its vibrations to the human and, therefore, divine level. In this way, you contribute to raising the vibrational level of the entire animal kingdom, facilitating their entry into the energy of the new Earth. Yes, dear ones, even when you eat meat of animals, it's cooperation, not parasitism on your part, as someone might think. The main thing required from you is not to forget to be grateful. Thank the animal that gave its life to feed you. Do this both before and after you eat. Your gratitude will increase the benefit of this food for you several times over. However, everything said does not mean that you must necessarily eat meat. 
decide for yourselves, taking into account the needs and capabilities of your body. If your body requires meat, do not refrain from it out of love for animals. Your sacrifice will not be justified. Refuse meat only when your body strongly demands it. Your body will itself indicate which food is appropriate for it and which is not. Base your choice of diet solely on the needs of the body, not on your conception of what is good or bad for animals. And of course, if animals allow you to consume their meat, it does not mean that you can treat them without due care. The main principle you should follow. Do not consume meat and other animal resources more than necessary. It is unacceptable to kill animals excessively. It is unacceptable to exterminate them for profit, for selfish purposes, when it's not about meeting urgent needs, but about actual plundering of nature. Remember that by destroying animals beyond necessity, you disrupt the energetic balance of the planet, which will ultimately harm you. Also remember that a person exploiting animals beyond the allotted measure will be held accountable for this by the law of karma. Many of you see a disbalance in the behavior of animals, and this causes you fear and dislike, especially when you encounter aggressive animal behavior. Dear ones, remember that animals, especially domesticated ones tamed by humans, merely reflect the imbalance of people. An animal does not undergo any lessons in earthly life. It does not answer for its behavior according to the law of karma, because it does not generate the causes for its dissonant behavior. These causes are generated by humans. Remember that the world of nature depends on you. Animals depend on you because they are closely connected with you. Balance yourselves, and you won't have to suffer from animal aggression. Find within yourselves the source of unconditional love, and you will receive love from animals. Oh, many of you know how much selfless love animals can give you. Accept this gift with gratitude. They came here to love you. Respond to them in kind. The animal world is a powerful energy. This energy is necessary for you. You can interact with this energy from a distance, not necessarily by interacting with the animal on the physical plane. Respect and love those who accompany you on your journey on Earth, those who help you and love you. May these truths illuminate your path. With love, cry on practice. Exercise 1. Affirmations for harmonious interaction with the natural world. Return usually happens peacefully and by mutual agreement during mental contact with the animal. Moreover, there are moments when the assistance of the spirit guide in the form of an animal is needed for us to maintain physical strength, greater resilience and stability in life, and to feel unity with nature as well as rootedness in our natural, earthly essence, replenishment of earthly energy reserves. To establish contact with your animal spirit guide, use this meditation exercise. In the future, decide for yourself whether to continue these contacts or stop at one. Be alone with yourself. Take any comfortable, relaxed position. Close your eyes, drive away all extraneous thoughts, and say to yourself, now I am going on an exciting journey that will lead me to my friend and helper in the form of an animal. Imagine that a natural landscape unfolds around you, any that you prefer. Before you is a path that beckons you on. You walk along it, enjoying the surrounding landscapes. You rejoice in the good weather and the beauty you see around you. Go where you want to go. You can turn off the path into the forest, into the field, or into the mountains or conversely, go out onto a wide straight road. Remember that you are in a safe place. Here, all of nature is friendly to you. Imagine that your path leads you to some place that seems very attractive to you. It could be a forest clearing, or the foot of a mountain, or just a large rock on the seashore. It all depends on your preferences. You decide to stop at this place to rest for a while. You sit down on the grass, or on a rock, or on a stump, on a fallen tree. Close your eyes and doze off for a few minutes. Then, waking up, you feel someone's presence nearby. You do not open your eyes and do not know what kind of creature is next to you, but you feel waves of love emanating from it. You understand that a friend is nearby, and you are completely safe. 
try to energetically understand what kind of animal it is. Then imagine that you reach out your hand, still without opening your eyes, to stroke it. What do you feel under your hand? Soft fur, skin, or perhaps feathers? Based on your feelings, try to determine again what kind of animal it is. When you are confident that you have guessed, imagine that you open your eyes and finally see it. Who is it? Talk to your animal. Ask it some questions if you want. Ask if it has any important message for you. If you wish, agree on the next meeting. Do not strain too much while doing this exercise. Do not be embarrassed that everything is happening only in your imagination. Imagination is a wonderful tool with which we can do many important and necessary things for ourselves. Treat it lightly, like a game. If you don't meet your animal on the first try, don't be upset. Maybe it will come to you in a different way. Through this exercise, you have informed the universe that you are awaiting this meeting, that you are interested in your animal friend. This means that the universe will fulfill your request in a way that is most appropriate for you. In the intricate web of life on this planet, where every being plays its part, animals hold a unique and vital role. From the mighty whales to the humble creatures in our midst, each one contributes to the energy and spiritual balance that envelops Earth. As you navigate through existence, remember the profound connection you share with all creatures, not just as companions, but as guardians of your spiritual essence. The animal kingdom, with its diversity and wisdom, stands as a testament to the harmonious relationship between humanity and nature. Embrace this bond, honor it, and let it guide you towards a greater understanding of your place in the world. Shine your light, for in doing so, you illuminate the path for others to follow.